I don't think I'm going to make good use of the shield, but we're going to try and use it. Uh, yeah, this waves of light attack is really good. We'll keep that relic going forward. Oh, Sigrun. Oh, Sigrun's not here because she's over there with Freya because we just beat Tyr. All right, let's get another run going. Maybe we can get to Tyr again and at least see what his next attack is going to be or what his next pattern or like form is going to be. The work part three, benevolence. Well, nothing to do about the work, then get it done. I think I would like to pick the blade one here because we need chaos crests. Hold R1 continues through evades and sends out a burst of sparks from its finisher. Yeah, pretty good. This Slayer strength actually seems really good, but I, I want to do the blades. We did not get another of Kalipe's flute. I don't remember how to pronounce Kratos' daughter's name. He'd better not be partying. He better be training. Who knows what Atreus is up to these days, man? Who knows? Come here, you. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Nope. There we go. Although, now that I think about it, we're not going to get the Breath of Thaumer by doing this Tartarus Rage at level 2 it is. That's fine, though. I'm not too fussed about getting Breath of Thaumer at this point because it keeps annoying me anyway. Increase all stun damage could be really good. Last second dodges empower the next attack to inflict. These are both good. I'm going to take the stun one. Coming through. Oh, hello. Is that like a model of Kratos' old wife? A substitute daughter. A box full of evils. Pandora? This one feels important. This is your blacksmith story, isn't it? His girl was the key, and he died protecting her? Protecting her from me. I opened that box seeking the means to kill Ares. And what I released. Pretty much turned all the gods crazy. Uh, thanks again for that. Quiet head. Unfortunate. The time I spend in my own Valhalla means you get more time with him. I can only assume that's like a Pandora's box thing, because, you know, Pan Pandora and Pandora's box are Greek, right? I'm pretty sure that's from Greece mythology. All right. Are these burdens worth it? How well did you know the blacksmith's daughter? Pandora. She reminded me of my own daughter, who I lost long ago. I'm sorry, Kratos. Even at your most vengeful, you must not have wanted to see harm come to her. Pandora was innocent. The way she saw things, she could reach me when few could. She deserved better than to be a pawn. Sacrificed in the game of gods. Your regret is palpable. But thank you for letting yourself remember. That is important. Yeah, I figured it was Pandora. <clears throat> Up we go. Alright. Despite how close that tier fight was, I'm I'm feeling good after that last run. I'm thinking I want runic attack door, unless this door changes my mind. Oh, question mark door. We have to do question mark door instead, because I need chaos crests. And the Nornir chest will give me them. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this. This is a, I'm pretty sure this is a, a good runic. It does good damage, I think. We do have increased to... You know what? This should combo well, because we have an increase to our stun bar. So that should work. The Blessing of Defense might have been better, to be honest, but too little too late. Let's go. Hello. Oh, no. It's the... Oh, hello. I need to light you ablaze for the Nornir chest. Glad I noticed that. It's. I don't remember how to do this. This pedestal is gonna, like, heal the enemies near it, but I don't remember how you're supposed to deal with that. No, 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 it doesn't, no, it just does poison, so you just freeze it with the axe and then use a different weapon? Okay, never mind, it's not what I thought it was. 
Or maybe I was just remembering how it works flat out. Goodbye. You and your super armor. Ariel. Shouldn't have been hit there, like, at all, but whatever, it's fine. Burn! Oh, are you serious? That hit me. Oh. Some sometimes I think an enemy is gonna, like, have super armor, and then they don't, and it confuses me. You know, with the increased stun, I should probably try and use my fists more, actually, now that I think about it. Has the game explained why Kratos' skin is so pale and the red stripes? Uh, no. I didn't know that Kratos' skin tone or tattoos had any real meaning, to be honest with you. I do not believe that has been explained to me. So, you know, we'll see if the game ever does. There's two. Where's that third one? Do you want to know? No, because the game might tell me. Or I might play some of the older God of Wars. So I'd rather not know. Honestly, give me some fleeting echoes. Now, where, oh, where is this last torch? Where's the Nornir chest? I don't even know where the actual chest is now that I think about it. To be honest with you, are there enemies here I haven't fought yet? Oh no! How am I not hitting you right now? I know, that's like all they do is explode and jump. Go away. I hate the tiny enemies. I hate them a lot. Thank you for the mastery seals. Now where, why is it so foggy? Where is this last pyre that I need to light? Where, oh, where could it be? There's that one. Do, do, there's that one. So the last one must be further over this way, you would think. And there's the Nornir chest. Jump across here, actually. Maybe it's over. Have I been over here yet? I don't think I've been over here yet. No, I definitely have because there's a chest that I opened. Never mind. I, quite clearly, don't know what the heck I'm talking about. What else is new? Where? Like around this corner, maybe? Where would this last one be? Man, it would help if I wasn't, like, blind. Oh, it's literally right here. <laughs> How did I miss that? Hello, open. So this should give me Chaos Crest, right? I think. Awesome. Okay, so this the question mark door is the main way for us to be getting... Um, it's the main way for us to be getting Divine Triumphs right now, I think. Between three runs, we can guarantee three Divine Triumphs as long as we get through the question mark door on each run and do a different weapon each time. And that doesn't seem like a lot, like three runs for three, but that that's really good. Mostly because of how early in the run it is. So unlike, because, you know, if we get to Greece and we get a hundred fleeting echoes, we can guarantee ourselves one per run as well. But that requires getting to Greece and doing well in Greece. A little give and take, I see. Just the increases rising chaos. That's like hold R2, right? It's fine. Increase all burn status by 15%. Increase the immolation gained when strike. Yeah, this seems really good. This seems pretty pog champion. Why can't they just be normal sized enemies like normal? That's what I'm saying, Shroom. Uh, is this burden worth it? Which button is worth the reward, do you think? Activating Fury Simulation triggers a realm shift. We did just get the thing that makes simulation go faster. Reduces runic damage isn't too bad to deal with. Decreases healing. 
Frost Awaken and Whiplash have moderate luck to get a Blessing of Runic. I don't think that's very good. This seems worth it. Just four encounters to give us a nice little realm shift going into our whatchamacallit. You know what? Give me this. We're, we're going very heavy on the blades right now, but I think that's fine. I think we can make it work. The one thing I'm not loving right now is that I wish I had more runic attacks. I don't like how few runic attacks I have right now. I would really like a runic door. No, you don't. Not today, sucker. Ow. Okay, maybe today, sucker. I said not today, sucker. I'm good. Don't worry. Get absolutely stabbed to death. You buffoons. That person is, like, reviving behind me. Rude. Hey, dude. Burn. Why didn't I get a realm shift there? I thought that was the realm shift trigger. Was L1 plus triangle. I guess it wasn't? Or maybe I wasn't close enough to the enemy for the realm shift to actually activate? I don't know what happened there. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have the realm shift yet because the realm shift is the one I get for um, my... My burden, right? That's what it is. So I don't have it yet. I have to finish the burden first. Combo finishers have high luck chance to increase Kratos' strength and stagger resistance. Melee attacks have low luck to restore some cooldown. They could have I think this is better. Overall. Get some health back. There should be a health crystal around here. I don't think I... Yeah, I haven't picked it up yet. Give. Okay. So far, so good. Can I have the perk that lets me dodge further again? Because that's just, like, the best perk in the game. Ooh. Alcove of Growth. Don't mind if I do. Probably gonna take a stat up here, because we're pretty good on health. Thanks for the defense and runic for free, and 10% HP back. Or maybe I didn't get the 10% HP there. I Sometimes I don't know what chest actually triggers the 10% HP or not, but... It's fine. Up. I've come... To a decision. At least for the time being, I'm going to step back from the price Valhalla has asked of me. Good for you, Seeker. I think maybe it's time I traveled, experienced these realms and lands beyond, not as Valhalla's emissary, but as a person. That's perfect. You've always dreamed of a grand sea voyage, seeing the world. Perhaps I could go with you. I've been told I'm a useful guide. Perhaps. But let's not distract Kratos further. Kratos is incapable of getting distracted. Don't worry. What's this door down here? Because I don't really like the weapon door all that much. What is this one again? We haven't had this one in a minute. It's not runic. It's, um... L3, not triangle. Mixed. A mix of all glyph types. Well, you know, why not? Live life on the edge. Hello. I'm just gonna, like, absolutely cremate you if that's okay. Nice little explosion you have there. Good job hitting your friends. Idiot. This is going surprisingly well for me right now. Come here. Aw, oh, you scumbag. I had your number. They're an enemy to my right still? Oh, you're still alive? Oh, no, you're a different enemy. Wish that had given me my realm shift. Ow. I just let that person hit me there for no reason. Ow. Okay, you know what? Let's stop throwing for no reason. How have you not been stunned? Died before I could get it anyway. Perfect parry? I am a gamer? I see it. Alright, you're out of here. You're dead. Okay. Should not have taken that much damage, but we're fine. 
last we're rid of that little cuss. All right, one burden lifted. Wait a minute, I don't think I picked up the HP stone in this area. Yeah, didn't. Good thing I remembered. Two more encounters for the next burden. I haven't been using my relic, remember that? This is Valhalla's chosen next, and then it's the mini boss. Hopefully the mini boss is Modi, because Modi is very easy to deal with. Runic attacks do increase damage against status afflicted enemies. That could work with us using the blade so much. Is this the flashbang move? It is. I like this one. Take that because we don't have many runic attacks right now and I want more runic attacks. There's the one Valhalla's marked. Yeah, I don't know which one you saw. There we go. You know what? I need to be using... We have increased stun damage on this one. I need to be using the axe more and then going into punches a lot. Yeah, because look at how fast I can build this up. I'm good. Don't worry. Nice damage. Let me give you one of these. What were you swinging at, Kratos? Because it was not the... Why do I have Drobner out? What, what happened? I need to upgrade this so that it does two flashbangs and only does one. It's supposed to do two. Doing two is what makes it good. Nope. Oh, almost screwed that up. Can you stop? Like, please? That was really poorly timed by me. You know what else I just realized is that I brought Wrath as my rage, which means we don't get any health back. Should have kept with Fury. If I want to actually get to and beat Tyr, I should have gone with Fury. Or Valor, even. Alright, that, that could have gone worse. It didn't go great, but it, I honestly think it could have gone worse. I'm worried about this next opponent we're about to have. Blade R2 combo attacks create extra shockwaves when they slam the ground. I'd rather just have the defense and vitality. I don't think I'm using combos all that much. Right, we've already been here. The path should be unlocked. Let's make our way up. Up, up, and away we go. After I check this out real fast. Yeah, I think we go ahead and take the minor health burst here. Because I don't know what enemy we're going to be facing. I will definitely take this defense and luck up. And then upgrade this to max. How did I get a an axe runic before I got both blade runics? That's not normally how this works, but whatever. Give me Modi! Let's go! <laughs> Why are you getting the fancy intro? Oh, no, wait, no, it's Magni! This one's different! I forgot that he had another one! Uh-oh. Let it be known, Valhalla, that this was not what I asked for. Light on fire. Nice. That's an unblockable. Okay, you gotta guard that, duly noted. For some reason, you can just guard lightning with metal shields in this universe, which makes no sense for the record. Ow, that was really bad of me. Even worse of me. Unblockable. Hey, uh, Magni, much more difficult than Modi, for anyone who is curious. I let him grab me for no reason. I'm gonna have to use all my rage here. I wish I had Fury instead. Bad. That was very bad by me. No, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, excuse me, you're dead. Thank you. The cycle. Labor updated. Clear the proving grounds. Clear the Eigen boat in Greece. Each objective will reward one divine triumph with a bonus granted if all are completed. The labor and all of its objectives. Okay, so we need to do the boat in Greece this time. I can do that. I still don't 
Weapon attunements from Valhalla? I don't know what that means. I think Valhalla's button is satisfied. You know, the 30% HP heal actually did pretty well there. Also, we still had a burden during that, which is gone now. I would love those statistics, but I need the HP because I was not prepared for Magni. Modi was way easier of a fight. Killing an enemy while in Spartan Rage restores some rage and health. Yes, because we have the rage move that just kills. Do I want this relic more than lightsaber thing, which I should have used in that fight? Grants a buff of soul steel during which a small amount of health and rage is restored when striking enemies. That seems great. Bonus to melee for a short while. I don't like that one. Let's try soul steel. Sounds pretty good. Okay, we're we're not in like an awful position, and we do get to go to Greece here. Get some Greece Surprise, buffs. You hulking brute. Oh hi. You're All here the early. Are about how evil the gods are, and you somehow gloss over that little extra nudge you gave them. Opening the box was Athena's plan. I did not know the consequences. You would claim ignorance of the consequences of trusting Athena? Is that your idea of a joke, Kratos? Because I admit it's hilarious. But let's be real, Kratos. Whether you should have suspected the consequences or not, you certainly can't claim that you would have cared about them. You wanted the power to kill Ares. And because you wanted it, everything is justified. That's your moral code at the end of the day, isn't it? To imagine you once again holding an office of solemn metaphysical responsibility. A trusted figure. A worshipped figure. The absolute gall of you to let yourself consider such a thing. I guess irony can have you when it earns you or something. Or something. Oh, Helios. I really need to start to remember that you can get a flat damage up to one of the weapons when you get to this point if you have, like, 220 Fleeting Echoes. I need to try and save 220 Fleeting Echoes specifically for that damage up, because that's pretty good. Hey, the Persephone doll. Oh, how precious. I don't think you can be trusted to keep that safe at all. He might have a point. Pretty sure he agrees with me. Eh, who cares about whatever Zeus and or Hades thinks? I don't know which Greek god that is. No Kratos, no Scry. Reclaim Pandora's statue. Continue to Greece. Another object from my past was manifested within Valhalla. This one is a replica of the statues I encountered in my search for Pandora's box. They were carved by the god Hephaestus in an attempt to recreate his daughter, Pandora. It brings back memories I would sooner forget. I didn't know that Pandora was Hephaestus' daughter. Learn something new every day. Hamzak, welcome to stream. How you doing? 